Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in once again to another Rad Movement video on YouTube. It is I, Robbie Rapole, back as always, every Monday, and today I want to talk about insecurities. My insecurities have been popping up a lot lately, uh, and I don't know why, uh, other than they just want to teach me something. But I've been talking about them more. Um, and I've been talking about them with the people that uh, would be affected by them or have, like, I have a connection to them. Like with Jaden, my oldest son, uh, I've been talking about our our relationship lately because um, he went into this period where he kind of just was, like, staying to himself a bit. And uh, I wasn't sure if that was, like, you know, something I was doing or if he just needed space or was craving connection with his friends more so than his family. Um, and so, you know, I've just been talking to him a lot about that stuff and like really unearthing some things um, and I guess kind of guiding myself through healing. Uh, and I feel like that's like kind of part of this process I'm in right now, like healing my insecurities is like a big thing. Um, the first time I took acid after I lost my leg uh, was probably the first time that my insecurities really like bubbled up real hard for me. And uh, I was I was cognitive of it. I was like, oh, this is weird. Um, <clears throat> and so like, I just remember every time I would like say something, I would be like, oh, sorry, guys, that was probably weird. Or, you know, like, I shouldn't have said that, or, you know, um, and I've been running. I, I've been noticing that things like that are happening a lot like uh, I tell uh, Brittany my shop manager you know the other day I was like hey uh, have I told you how much I love and appreciate you lately and she's like yeah you have and I was like immediately I was like oh fuck so am I annoying like am I telling you too much am I walking around being like you're the best you're the best and you're like ew you're annoying um which is a really weird thing right like why would someone get upset at you for telling them that they're great. Uh, so it's been really interesting how my insecurities have been popping up in certain ways and just showing me that they're there um, and that they're very much alive. And uh, it's my job to figure out like why they're there and what to do with them uh, in respect to like, you know, I shouldn't freak out when I get insecure. I shouldn't allow the insecurity to take over. Uh, what am I supposed to learn from this insecurity? And so like, this is just kind of me figuring out how to deal with my insecurities, right? Like, how do I deal with my insecurities? What do I do? Uh, what What is the step I take? Um, what are the steps I take? Uh, and you know, in the magical motherfucker method, Part one, the first step is check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, it's the, the, the mental emotional checklist. So, you know, when I feel insecure, you know, I go and I say, okay, well, why am I feeling insecure? What is it about this moment uh, that's bringing me insecurity? How do I dive deeper? Um, how do I work towards, you know, healing this? How do I fix this part of myself? How do I tap in to the, you know, the connection to the divine, right? Um, what lessons, like I said, what lessons am I supposed to be learning here? So it's been really interesting trying to figure out who I am and why I am the way I am sometimes. Where are these insecurities coming from? And what are they doing? I know this is like a repetitive theme. Uh, where are my insecurities from coming from? What are they doing? What's the point of having them there? Uh, what do they need from me? Uh, what do I need to give them? Um, what can they teach me? How we can all benefit from each other. So really, uh, I'm presented with an opportunity every time an insecurity pops up. An opportunity to go deeper. An opportunity to question myself. An opportunity to heal prior wounds and prior situations. So <clears throat> it's been very nice in a way 
And especially like having Jaden acknowledge like, yeah, man, your, your insecurities have been coming up a lot. And, um, you know, having that sounding board, like, okay, so they are, they are popping out. Um, what, what is it? What is it? What do you guys want? So really, uh, when your insecurities pop up, it's, it's a chance to dig deep. It's a chance to ask yourself deeper questions. Um, on that note, we were at a, a show, a music show the other night with Jaden, um, and there was a dude doing interviews and he asked one of the artists, he's like, you've, you've seen me do a couple interviews now, what would, what would be uh, advice? And he was like, man, go deeper. Like, nobody wants to hear the stupid, you know, how do you make your music stuff? Like, go deeper. Like, go deep with these people. And uh, that's a good rule of advice for anyone. Go deep. Go deep with yourself. Pay attention to who you are and what it is that you're doing. Pay attention to how you're affected by people, how you're triggered by people, how... Uh, you know, what triggers the love emotions and what triggers the sadness or the fear or the anger emotions um, and what figures these, what, what triggers these insecurities, you know, so go deep with yourself. And every moment in life is an opportunity to uh, every negative moment. Uh, so uh, such as insecurity or, you know, a fear outburst or an anger outburst or an anxiety attack or, you know, any of that stuff is, a, is a, an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to grow. What's going on here? What's going on inside of me? I feel insecurity. Insecurity about what? Insecurity about how I look or sound. Okay, what is it about how you look or sound that makes you insecure? Why would that make you insecure? Did you have any experiences in your life in the past that this exacerbates a, a a sad memory, a core memory, a positive memory. Um, so, you know, just asking yourself more and deeper questions is going to help you find more and deeper answers. Pretty simple. Simple, not easy. And that's one thing we always have to remember. Just because the solution could possibly be a simple one, it doesn't mean it's an easy one. So we all must remember that. The easy solution is usually never there, but it might be simple solution, which you can get confused because I've, I've done this many times. Even knowing that simple doesn't equate to easy. When somebody says simple, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be easy. I'm like, no, you idiot, don't say that. Um, uh, <clears throat> and actually, no, I'm not an idiot. I'm beautiful and I'm wonderful, so thank you. Uh, you know, trying to adjust your self-deprecating uh, speak. You know, it's something that I think a lot of us do. And it's not necessary. We don't need to run around talking shit to ourselves. Uh, we should go around loving ourselves a whole lot more. Um, so yeah, quick run through. Checklist on what to do when your insecurities pop up. First, acknowledge that it's an insecurity. Breathe. Then ask yourself, what about this makes me insecure and try to go deeper there's no like list of questions that you're going to ask but if you listen to yourself and if you listen to the transmissions that you're getting from the universe that are always coming to us you will find answers and it's not an easy process it's a simple process it's not a quick process it can take a lot of time so don't worry if it takes a minute to get where you want to be with all this stuff. Because life's a never ending journey. It never, ever, ever stops. The learning never stops. Uh, the having to check yourself never stops. The growth never stops. Uh, the pains never stop. It's just how do we deal with them? So, with that being said, I love you. I'm Rad, and so are you. Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day. Be proud of yourself. Be kind to yourself. And uh, we can work through some of this stuff together. Much love, y'all. Have a wonderful fucking day.